Good day, Pookie Nation. It's your boy King Pookie coming out with another video, breaking with your beers content. Content. Um, we got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that Ryan Pace made these trades this weekend. Two trades. Um, I had got the names down. Um, he got officially. We were saying. Um, I think the first pick. The, the the first trade that we made was um last week week um we traded for uh, a receiver Ted Jen Jr. from the New Orleans Saints for in a for in a one year deal um he you know I really don't like these one year deals because you don't know what you're gonna get you know. So this is like after one year, after this year, he's if it doesn't work out, he's gone. But a lot of people they like this move, you know. It's one one year, and you know then we could just get rid of him. And but I mean, if it's a one year deal, it means usually they suck or nobody wants to pick them up. That's why. So that's why it's a one year deal. So, but let's get into it. His he was with the New Orleans Saints. He was drafted in 2007, um, I think so, um, he had, last year, he had 409 receptions and receives, rec received yards 572 and um, receiving 33, zero touchdowns. Rushing yards 486 and he came out of Ohio State University um, And they also picked Ryan Pace picked up a safety from the Houston Texans who um Because they let him go their coach let him let him go so hey Ryan pick pace picked them up and because nobody else did so it's another one-year deal which but this, this move I like really like a lot because you know that he is a pro bowler and a lot of people were upset that he got they traded him on you know from the Texans so um but um yeah so Tosh Gibson he was drafted in 1990 sorry no wait wait he was not drafted in 1990 that's his age um, he's only twenty. Well, um, he's only twenty nine years old. Twenty nine, which is still young. That's in his prime. He came out of Wyoming University. Um, he was a Pro Bowler in two thousand and fourteen. Um, Pro Bowler, and last year with the Texans, he had four total tax tackles 450 zero sacks one forced fumble pass deflections 46 touch tt 23 defenses three and, you know and here's a bad news um the bears uh declined um mitch Trubisky's his five-year um, contract, you know, his rookie deal. So they, so this is a, you know, break it in for Mr. Bisky. If he doesn't do it, you know, if he does not win the starting job, and Nick Foles has he has the starting job, then this season, it's gonna be Trubisky's, you know, not come back next year or something. Um, so he's gonna be playing for another team if you know if he doesn't win the starting job. So, um, yeah, this is his last string. I mean, I don't understand, like, some of the fans, they really love Trubisky, but Trubisky just, like, he's not playing his potential. He is a number two. We drafted him number two in the draft in 2017, and he's not playing, like, a number two um, draft pick, that's for sure, in 2017. So, um, but, um, yeah, and then, so, Nick Falls... Um, I don't know what they're gonna do with him if he's gonna be here a long time because I know he's pretty old, but um, yeah, his so, but um, 
Yeah, I also have it. Some beers, you know, where to find some beers content content on YouTube. Um, these people, maybe you should check them out. Uh, you know, for the best beers content ever. Um, this guy that didn't um, DWC um, Wendy City Productions for the fourteen thousand six hundred. Of subscribers and then here's another guy um face sports talk he is very you know good with his bears knowledge and he breaks all of the numbers and everything um he has eleven thousand one hundred subscribers check him out and then uh, here's another guy to uh, I I mean spirits sports very they um these these two guys they come up from they're from Texas. Um, one is his name Josh and Sean. Um, Josh is a a big huge Bears fan. I mean Sean is a Dallas Cowboys fan, but they live out of Texas. So um, they you know, I mean, it's not it's more than they they talk about the Bears. Um, well Sean does, but um, I mean excuse me Josh does. But they know knowledge about then what available ever and they do do streaming online and sometimes you could go and they talk about others on Discord. Um talk and talk, you know, on the Discord. And there's another guy that I watch. Um I don't know, Shen Lag Daddy T V. He has twelve thousand nine hundred subscribers. He he's another huge Bears fan, but he is like I'm scared of this guy. <laughs> He's very loud and that stuff. But um, and then I have a uh, muscle. Uh, I don't know what, but this guy is, you know, <laughs> Tom Grassi from the podcast, <laughs> and he's a great Bay Packers fan. <laughs> I don't know why I listen up, but he is. Funny. You know, he does streams and he does his homework and he does a lot of NFL content and he also did um, streaming online, streams online and you could go on the stream and talk about, you know, what's going on in the NFL. But, you know, um, there's only three people that I love that are Packer fans. It's Tom Grassi, Kendra from work, and then my cousin Sita. From um, they like the Packers, but I mean, I hate the Packers. And but this guy, he you know, should go check it out his channel. Um, Tom Grassi, um, from the and he does a podcast. Um, with seventy eight thousand six hundred. But um, yeah, so. Um, that's all the Bears news I got for you today. If I have any Bears content, you know, coming out, I'll definitely make a video. Check out my videos on the Last Dance on the Bear, um, the Bulls, um, on Sunday nights. And uh, this is your boy King Pookie, and I'll see you next time in the, in the next video. Peace.